Hi, I'm Alistair. I'm a games designer. And if you've played many real-life escape room games, you'll probably be familiar with one of these. This is a four-digit combination padlock. And what typically happens in an escape room is that you'll solve a puzzle which will give you a four-digit numeric solution. And you enter that uh, solution onto the padlock, which opens up, and that will give you a new puzzle to solve or open up a new area of the room or something like that. Now, that's all very well, but many escape rooms are themed in settings like an ancient Egyptian tomb or a medieval castle, which are not really places you'd expect to find a modern-looking four-digit padlock. So, when I was recently asked to create an escape room for a charity event, I wanted to think of a, a cheap and easy way that I could reuse a standard four-digit padlock, but make it more in keeping with the theme of the room. So um, what I came up with was uh, a 3D printed padlock sheath, like this one, for example. Uh, so this one's got a design on the front that's uh, just got a, a dragon's head there. And if I take my regular four digit padlock and just place it in the bottom half like that, open it up, and if I pass the top half over like that, and then what I would do is uh, just super glue the two halves together there. And then what you've got is you've got the padlock still functioning exactly um, as it was. So I've not changed the mechanics of the padlock at all. Um, but I can very easily kind of make it slightly more in keeping with the theme of the room. And I tried experimenting with a, a couple of different designs. So I've got like a, a golden uh, sort of lion's head one here. Um, and I've also tried printing that same one in silver as well. Um, I've also got a kind of red skull motif here. Um, for this one, I actually tried to uh, sort of make the model part of the body of the padlock as well. So rather than it just being kind of a, an ornamentation on the front, as in this one, uh, this one actually the skull kind of goes through the, the padlock body as well. Um, and um, I mean, those were combination locks, but I've also tried experimenting. Uh, so this one here, I have a little kind of, um, if you can see, that's kind of like an ivory dragon's head printed on a key padlock like that. So I designed all these using some open source 3D modeling software called OpenSCAD and I've uploaded the code I used to my GitHub account. Uh, I'll put a link in the description so you can go over, download it and try it yourself. If you've got different sorts of padlocks than me, you can alter the parameters and put different ornamentations on the front, um, try printing it in different sorts of filament, things like that. Um, now, obviously, a 3D printed sheath is not going to be as robust as injection molded plastic or metal. Um, it was perfectly good enough for me because I was doing this as a, as a short run event anyway. You can make it more durable by um, resin coating. If you get some clear coat resin and um, paint the padlocks afterwards in that, you'll find that it does increase the durability. But to be honest, they're so easy to print multiple copies of anyway. Um, I actually um, found that you know it was easy to have lots of spares and if anything did break you can very quickly just put a new cover over the top. Um, so I hope some of you find that useful. Um, if you've got any questions or comments or if you do you know come up with some new designs yourself um, please let me know I'd love to see them. Okay cheers bye.